Hey, good afternoon, and welcome to our artist interviews as part of the Riverdale Art Walk um, virtual show, which is happening until July the 2nd. Um, and they were doing individual conversations with artists to help them kind of just uh, share a little bit about their process and their inspiration. So as collectors, you get to kind of understand a little bit more about the magic that goes on behind the curtain. So pretty excited today to talk to uh, Lindsay Smale, and we're just going to wait for her to join us. In the meantime, please make sure to check out riverdaleartwalk.ca, which is where you'll find the links to the actual virtual show, which runs from June 18th till July 2nd. The tent tour is happening this weekend, and there are a number of artists uh, that are part of the Riverdale Art Walk that, because we can't all meet together at Jimmy Simpson Park, are doing individual little mini tent tours uh, in their own driveways or places like that. So there's a, uh, a map on the link to riverdaleartwalk.ca that you can check that out. So that's, uh, that's going to be pretty fun too. Um, and we then also have the preview tonight. There'll be a Zoom uh, live from the, gal or the Leslie Grove Gallery um, and the preview will happen at 7.30. So I think I just saw Lindsay here. So let me just bring her on board. All about her work. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Good. So I, uh, I'm not that familiar with your work, so I'm actually really excited to uh, to learn about what you do and your inspiration, and oh, maybe you can share a bit about yourself. Yeah, this is my very first uh, Riverdale art work, uh, art walk. Ugh, don't talk much. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm pretty new to painting. Um, I'm a graphic designer by training. And uh, I started, I've always painted, you know, f for fun, but uh, about two years ago, I started getting quite serious about it. So I've been um, working diligently and uh, this is my first sort of bigger show. I was really looking forward to meeting everyone and um, meeting all of you guys and uh, people coming to see art, but... Um, yeah, that is always part of the show that's sort of so great that we're missing this year. But congratulations on getting juried in because it's a pretty strict yeah. jury. And so that's an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, I was, I'm in the August show as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Good. Um, I started painting uh, more seriously when we moved out of the city, actually. I lived in Toronto most of my life and was pretty ultra urban and Loved all those things, still do, but um, we moved up to a little place called Coldwater in uh, Severn and just Lovely. spending more and more time outside, um, paddling, hiking. That's, you know, that's how I like to start my day with a big hike or a paddle and swim. And uh, that really was what made me want to paint you know just the the sort of sense of wonder and um just the changeability and beauty of the world you know and all the waterways and marshes and things up here just i really uh i'm very moved by it and it moves me to want to paint it but I don't, um, like I take a lot of photos, I sketch outdoors, I've been starting to paint outdoors a little bit, but that's for me. Um, when I come into my studio, I paint quite freely. Uh, you know, I don't reference a photo or... Reference. So you don't, you're not like, like the group of seven and you don't go out and use your sketches to then no, come back into the no, studio? No, I had a huge crush on Tom Thompson when I was a little kid. <laughs> Um, yeah. I, thought I think every like, Canadian did. I think that's a rite of passage. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I admire what they did and stuff, but I'm more interested in the feeling of place, the atmosphere of place, how, how it is to be there rather than what it looks like. Um, that's... And so what do you, are you working in acrylics or oils or... I'm working in uh, acrylic and, you know, some charcoal, pastel, sort of wander in occasionally, but um, yeah, primarily acrylic. And so this is a piece that you've got behind you, obviously. 
Yes. So do you want to talk a little bit about your inspiration for that one? It's beautiful. Um, well, it's, um, it's not the, it's a very partial view of it. Um, this painting is called Happiness is Easy. And uh, a nice steal from a Talk Talk song. And um, I painted this, uh, there was still snow and, you know, we were locked down and um, I really wanted to start bringing more uh, vivid color into my palette, but I decided to sort of sneak up on myself and rather than, you know, presto changeo, just start bringing in, you know, the warmth and, um, so I worked on this and the other thing I did was I worked with uh, either very thin paint or very thick paint. So I'd go in with very uh, thick, uh, the light blue paint and then bring in, while it was still wet, inky dark paint that was very liquid. And so I'd get all these really interesting movement and um, a little bit of unpredictability, you know, I sort of knew roughly what was going to happen, but you never know exactly what's going to happen. So <laughs> I, I love that. I love that part of the process, though, don't I, you? Like yeah. that serendipity that you're like, oh, that's super cool. And I couldn't have planned that. <laughs> Such an exciting way to work. And um, I, I just found it really enlivening. And it was really what I needed desperately, you know, um, the sort of feeling of lockdown and, you know, everything feeling sort of small yeah. and smaller and I needed sort of a feeling of more excitement in the studio so to walk in and there be you know these sort of a little wild for me anyway you know uh gestures and things happening I found it really enlivening to come into my studio and work so well it's I really interesting too that you know the whole I mean, of course, with around the pandemic, there's so much that you can't, we can't control and it just happens around you. And it's interesting that you choose to use a medium that you also don't have control over, but it actually feeds the positivity uh, in your work versus it being kind of something you can't control in a bad way. Yeah, well, we like to think we're in control of some things, but we not much. <laughs> we know now we're not. <laughs> no. So I called the paintings that I'm showing at the Riverdale Art Walk as a group, I call them Through Thick and Thin. So it's about the paint and it's also about, you know, coming through uh, rough times and um, bringing that sort of optimism and yeah. the sort of joy well, starting to peek through, which I think is how a lot of us are feeling. Well, I think it's lovely too that the work behind you especially kind of feels like, you know, with that burst of white and then the... Uh, the lovely tangerines that look like in the background too, that kind of that optimism and joy kind of bursting through. Mm -hmm. um, it yeah. seems very, I don't know, relevant in terms of today's cult, today's time. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, yeah, that's the hope anyway. I hope people uh, <laughs> find that optimism in it and find it appealing. And so are you, uh, so you're obviously going to be in the virtual show this year. Um, yeah. yeah. And are you participating in the tent tour? No, I thought about doing the tent tour, but I'm up here and I don't know if, anyway, I might do it in August if we're still online. Uh, it's sort of, it was a lot for me getting ready uh, for this um, and juggling a lot of things. And uh, we, I was just talking about my husband uh, the other day saying, well, in a way, I, it's kind of all right that there's no uh, in-person aspect for this first one. I just sort of feel right. like, you know, like it wasn't that there's so much to do, but in my head, you know, there's a lot of spinning and um, everything's new. So it takes up more room. <laughs> well, I think also, you know, I think we're, I mean, I feel like we're just, out of practice like I probably do maybe 20 shows a year and I have for 10 years but I still have to tell you I'm still a little bit apprehensive about our tent tour this weekend because it's kind of like it's been two years since we've really done anything and it just feels like so long ago I feel like everything's uh, new again I'm sure it'll be great <laughs> sure well you've got a big you've got a crew right at your location so. yeah there's eight, seven of eight of us yeah but yeah honestly at this point i'm just super excited to talk to the other artists like of course i want to see our <laughs> lovers there too but it isn't even about selling it's about sharing 
the work mm-hmm. that you've done in isolation for so many years, like a year and a half, right? Yeah. That you haven't really been able to share. It's, there's, it's like a cycle, right? Like there's the kind of the germination, you maybe have a concept or something you want to explore and you make the work and that, that's a, sort of a process. And then at the end though, but it needs to go somewhere. You know, it needs, mm-hmm. that's kind of the, the end of the cycle. And then, so, yeah. Well, I find it a little bit stressful too. I should have a lot of stuff in my studio. Like I kind of feel like, for me, the process is the very cathartic process of actually producing it. So therefore, once that's done, I kind of like, go, live with someone else. <laughs> Be happy on someone else's mental piece. <laughs> yeah, well, right now I'm in that awkward stage where I have, you know, I finished um, varnishing some of these pieces, um, you know, still a bit of work to do on the backs and um, wiring. And But the, the next series is also here. Uh, on, oh, walls you know and I just sort of feel like ah, you know like it's <laughs> yeah like I yeah. want the, these three thick and thin paintings to head off into the world so that I, I can sort of clear my palette uh, yeah start fresh and yeah delve into that stuff so that's great well it's been fabulous to talk to you and to learn a bit about your process and so your work is on the will be on the uh, online show starting uh, tomorrow june 18th and yep. runs till july the 2nd and uh certainly we hope to see more of you and i really hope that at some point we can be in person together <laughs> it would be great yes thank you so much for your time Lindsay. thank you okay bye-bye <laughs>